Com is at Art is King. Uh, that tells us all about different art uh, processes and what's going on in the community. And Jason's going to talk to us about it. Jason? How are you doing? Good. Explain to us what you have going on here. Tell us about your creative process and your work. Okay, well, I work primarily in a pen and ink, a little pencil here and there. Uh, mostly what I do is I, I start off with the uh, pencil so I can kind of get it down exactly where I want to go with it. And then I do an overlay with the uh, pen and ink. I do a lot of stippling, hatching, cross hatching, a lot of repeated shapes so I can uh, define a, a texture within my work. Now, what inspired you to create? Uh, a lot of nature. I, I do a lot of organic stuff. I, 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 I tend to, uh, to go with uh, like outdoorsy, woodsy type things, but it also kind of, uh, I use a lot of musical themes. So I guess the outdoors and uh, uh, kind of combine. So I guess, you know, I'm this piece right here, I, I have the sax player, but, you know, he becomes a, a true so to speak. You know, and, 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 so it's, just, it's a very organic uh, type work. I guess you really feel the uh, texture of wood and bark and, and, and plants and leaves. And I, I love yeah. music, so yeah. I, I yeah. always add that to my work. Okay, what are the pros and cons uh, when it comes to technology um, and dealing with art, in your opinion? Uh, I think it's mostly just a, a pro. I mean, I don't really see many cons. I think it's really good for promoting your work, uh, enhancing your work. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that it took me a while to embrace because I'm more of a traditional artist. I love to sit down and, and uh, put pen to paper. That's my absolute favorite thing to do. But I have learned the importance of it. And when I started uh, you know, kind of dabbling in things, I learned how I could enhance my work. So, uh, you know, it's, I don't really see a, a, a con. Although I do sometimes feel as though there are a lot of people that are, are artists who can't draw. And I have seen that. So from just coming from a drawing background, sometimes I, I look and I say, okay, well, this, you know, this guy can't draw. But, so in your opinion, is that truly an artist if they cannot draw? But they you, know how to work these digital platforms? I think you can still be an artist. I, I think you definitely should be considered an artist. I just think there's a different form. You know, some people sculpt, you know, some people paint and they don't necessarily draw. But uh, it's just, I think that I, I focus so much on drawing sometimes. I, I have looked at it like that, but I, I have grown, you know, more to appreciate and respect, you know, uh, visual art. You, you, have to, you have to have respect for it now because everybody is going in that direction, you know, so it's, it's, it's one of those things that I think there are some more traditional artists who don't necessarily embrace it, and I think they're hurting themselves by, by, by doing that. I think it's better to embrace any form of expression, you know, if, if that means your painting, that means your sculpting, that means your woodworking, metal smith, whatever, and, and now digital, uh, digital art. I think that's just, it's just a different way of, of, of being able to express yourself as an artist. Now, in your opinion, what are artists missing? Uh, funding. <laughs> we're, I think we're, we're missing a lot of funding. I think uh, a lot of funding is being taken out of the schools or it's just uh, misappropriated. We're not getting the funding in certain areas. I've noticed uh, in certain schools, uh, they, they put a heavy emphasis on sports and sometimes uh, math and science. And I have no problem with them putting money in those areas because you have to have math and science. Sports is a good way for kids, you know, let off stress and to, and to, to build their bodies physically and, and to maintain good health, you know, and, and learn um, how to work with each other. So all those are great things, but it just seems as though in art and music, it seems to me that a lot of money is being taken away from those programs and being given to other programs in the school system. And just in general, I mean, it's hard to get funding from my experience for art and music things from like the city and the state and whatnot, it just seems to me it's more difficult. But that's one of the things that we do here at Black Book Conversations is, is try to uh, bring in people who work in these departments to you know let us know what's out there, what's available to artists. So you know, it, it's it's out there. I don't think it's quite as much. But it's my job, I feel, to help people, you know, get to that point where they can say, okay, well, this is out here, this is out here, and, and get connected with it so they can receive funding to do whatever they, they want to do, whatever they can envision as far as being an artist.
advice to aspire? Uh, to always continue to work on your art. Try not to have a lot of uh, downtime. Uh, definitely believe in yourself. Believe in your craft. And the more you work on it, the more you gain that belief or that confidence in your work. Do so. Go out there and see people. Um, know your history, know your art history, know who came before you. Um, network, always network, build bridges, build strong bridges. Do not burn your bridges. Try your best not to do that. You know, uh, I've seen artists that aren't aren't aren't, aren't honest. They don't practice uh, honest business or whatnot with each other, and it hurt. It hurts all of us in the long run because if you're a wonderful artist, but you're hard to work with, or people don't trust you. I mean, it, it, it hurts us all because you're an artist that we would love to see, but it's the, the way you can deal with people. It, it makes it hard for people to enjoy what you're doing, you know. So I mean, definitely be a good business person, be a good person. Believe in what you do. Uh, help each other out, you know. Sometimes we don't always have the funds to do things, so we may have to barter or whatever, you know. To uh, but, but always and, and, and go to these shows, be seen, be visible. Uh, use all forms of media that you can to promote your business. Always promote. I mean, I do. Uh, I do work on T-shirts, and you'll see me out a lot of times with one of my T-shirts on, you know. And it's like, hey, JasonThomasArt.com, you know. That's my website, jasonthomasart.com, by the way. Uh, you know, so definitely, it's always about promoting yourself. If you don't promote yourself, you can't expect anyone else to promote you. So you definitely have to be very self-motivated, knowledgeable, uh, and just generally, you know, work, like I say, work on your craft. And people can feel the love in your work. If, if you work on something, you put your heart and soul into it, people can feel that. You just slap something together real fast, people can tell that too. So, yeah, so definitely give, give people something. When, they, when they're buying work from you, give them something that you know you put your heart into. Okay, thank you. We've been talking to Jason Thomas here, an illustrator um, at Artist King. <laughs>